Thank you, Kirsten. So the reason I wanted to talk about this is there's so much confusion and so much disinformation and misinformation being put out, put out about what Nasara and Jasara are. You got to blow was, up the screen. Can you? Is that the largest you can make it? That's as big as I can. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So um, this was put together by a person, a really brilliant person in my uh, Australia group, mm -hmm. um, Martin Heal, and as well as contributions from other members of the Australian Zoom group that uh, my Zoom cord uh, my Australian coordinator put together. So NASARA stands for National Economic Security and Recovery Act. That's for the U.S. only. Just SARA is the Global Economic Security and Recovery Act. Can Nassara I say something Washington. now? Okay. There is a fake one that's the National Economic Stabilization Act that was put out by the Bushes. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's to derail and, and you know, high, ob obfuscate this and make it um, so you're not understanding things again. Okay. So NASARA will first happen in the U.S. followed by other countries. The NASARA principles are common law to be implemented in divorce and establishment of peace. In other words, under JASARA, each country will have to agree to not be waging war and establish peace, as well as the many of the all of the following: private citizen financial privacy from their governments, <laughs> currency backed by precious metals, that's to be gold, silver, and platinum. The QFS, and I'll explain what QFS stands for, Quantum Financial System, I'll mm -hmm. explain that in more detail later on, will be used for financial transactions and all financial uh, in and economic instruments. QFS is also Q will be also be used for election integrity, and that will be now known as the QVS, Quantum by Voting System. Forgiveness of private debt, elimination of income tax and other government taxes, and replace this with a 14% consumption tax on non-essential items. That would be items like that are not things like medical, uh, pharmaceutical things that people need, et cetera. And that's a on new items only. So it wouldn't, if it's a used item, it would include that would not be taxed. Return of government taxes and fines, et cetera, to the people. Release of medical treatments and technologies that are currently classified and hidden from the book from the public. Um, that's such things as the med beds. Then also the unlimited funds for community, environmental, and sustainable projects. And you know, people ask how unlimited. Well, when you're not funding wars all over the all over the globe, for one thing, that releases a lot of funds, and then also we all of the gold has will be repatriated throughout the world that was located and found in the dumb under the Vatican. That's fifteen hundred miles of gold bullion that went from the Vatican to Jerusalem in that dump, as well as underneath the uh, Bank of London and underneath the palace in England. So next is also what Jasara means for the world: elimination and the burden of debt, so that people no longer have to work forty hours a week just to survive. Allows people to pursue careers that follow their passions, creative and their creativity and get involved with projects that benefit the community environment and the people around them gives everyone the same opportunities no one will be limited by race gender political views country of birth etc stable currencies and election integrity cures for terminal diseases and cheap and easy treatments for con um, for uh, conditions and diseases free energy, alter alternative technologies, and new forms of transport and ways of doing things. So they're going to release the patents as member above. They're going to release hidden technologies. That'll be free energy and anti-gravity. So it changes the transportation. And I'll talk about all this a little bit later. Companies and projects will focus on the community environment and social impacts instead of company profits and shareholder returns. Minimal government monitoring of citizens and their financial activity removes the threat of potential war and allows everyone to cooperate harmonious, harmoniously. So um, thanks to a dedicated woman named whose codename Dove, Nasara did not pass into oblivion 
and that's the link for that. You can go to this link here, which is uh, pathway to ascension.wordpress.com. Um, she imposed a very strict gag order upon it. Dove circulated a daily update on Nasara. As a result, Nasara has grown from a national law enacted to correct wrongs perpetrated on the American people by the banking industry, government, and mega corporations and the media to set principles desired throughout the planet. So it's gone from a US only to a worldwide system. Nasara is now a universal structure known as Nasara within which improvements in every nation will take place. A strong contributing factor to worldwide knowledge of Nasara is that of more than 40 demonstrations now called Nasara Take Action Team or NTAP members residing throughout Europe. These demonstrations took place in Peace Palace in The Hague in the Hague, in Netherlands, or the Hague, however you pronounce that, also called the World Court. And there's a link to that, again, on that uh, pathway to ascension.com. And then the GCRRV from Beauty Byington, you can go look at her continuing updates. Um, as per uh, various uh, updates, uh, she's released the gold asset back currency, including the quantum financial system, uh, she's released all kinds of updates. I'll just skip that. Um, that's the uh, majority of things. Um, also, part of this is that the, the new monies will not have satanic symbols on them or logos of the Democratic National uh, Convention or Democratic Party, because those are all satanic as well. And the um, old SWIFT system will be replaced by the QFS or the Quantum Financial System. Nasara is an offshoot of the 14th Amendment in the American Constitution. President Clinton signed Nasara at actually gunpoint by a bunch of Marines that were holding him uh, and that was put forward and, and written up by farmers that were losing their farms due to all the bank foreclosures and things and the weather warfare that was being done so they couldn't get crops and, and pay for their mortgages. It was signed into law at 10 a.m. by Bill Clinton on 11 September of 2001. This is, and where this was stored was in the Toy Towers. So that's a big reason for 911. Bush Sr. ordered the demolition of the Trade Tower centers to stop the international banking computers that were on floors one and two of the North Tower from initiating, in other words, was set to already be initiated into the US new Treasury Bank system. Supported by, uh, it was stopped by uh, many uh, people from becoming wealthy and having power so that, so that their power, the cabal's power would be uh, compromised. So Chief Justice John Roberts is shared with this Bush deceit to seal the deal. And um, John Roberts worked with Bush Sr. to steal $9.1 trillion from the U.S. Treasury funds for Nassara. A lot of that is what goes into creating all the dumps where they do all the things with the little ones that I've been telling about for two years now. Justice John Roberts was also caught transferring $3 trillion to his own personal bank account, $10 trillion to Cheney, to Cheney Bush, Clinton, and McCain. These treasonous traitors of Congress will have a one-way ticket to Gitmo. So part of the NSR is also holding them accountable and the tribunals, which I've been talking about for two years. I want to Initially, correct one thing. Okay, yes, so ahead. I always heard it was 13 trillion. You just said 3 trillion to him and 10 trillion to Cheney, Bush <laughs> and Clinton and McCain. So that would be 13 trillion, not 9.1 trillion, right? Um, uh, uh, you have 13 trillion there, an additional 9.1 to his own personal account. Uh, so you have, uh, excuse me, 3 trillion to his personal account, 10 trillion to these people, right. and 9.1 he, he also stole as well. So you have, it's actually a total of 23 trillion. Holy moly, missing. where is the money? Uh, a lot of it built dumps. A lot of it enriched Roberts beyond belief, as well as the Bush family, the Clinton family, and, and the McCain families, mm. and Cheney. 
So they, those three fam, those one, two, three, four families got ten trillion, or about two point five trillion each. Then Roberts himself got three trillion. Plus then the another, nine. yeah, nine point one went went directly to Bush Senior. Oh. Okay, so that's thirteen plus nine point one. So that's twenty two point one. And then there's another point nine that went just they don't know where it went. Are we getting all that money back, or is it gone? Um, they have already seized a lot from the Clintons yeah. and McCain, uh, when he was given lethal injection, right. um, and when the big indictment, which I'm currently being told will be in March, that will further indict them and demand, of course, if you're found guilty for trafficking in humans, as per the executive order that Trump signed into law, then all of your properties will be seized. So that would include the Cheney, the Bush, the Clinton, the McCain again, and as well as Justin, Ro just oh, Chief Justice, Justice Roberts. Is Roberts. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, and this was initially formed by fighting farmers, as I said, that were defrauded by the IRS and the banking system. So Nassar will forgive all debts, credit cards, mortgages, and other bank debts due to illegal bank activities. <laughs> Such uh, legal debts are things like continually compounding interest, which mm -hmm. is illegal. Um, usury debt, in other words, where you go get a loan, say, for a million dollars, and it's a 10% interest, you would expect on on a, a million dollars to pay a hundred thousand dollars at ten percent, but you wind up paying five million dollars interest because the interest is compounded over a thirty-year time frame over and over on itself. Okay, so some, so someone we know that attacks us says to go out and I get a loan. That loan might not and not have to worry about paying it off or not paying off your mortgage. That might not be paid off because it's not a. Um, you know, a, a fraudulent loan. So, you know, whatever she's saying is yeah, probably you, not, not the truth. Don't go out and, and, no. and not pay off your mortgage and not pay off your, your loan. Right. And, you know, thank you for bringing that up. Um, yeah. People need to continue doing and not change how they've been doing things. Not go out, take crazy loans, bring up your credit cards because you right. think it's going to go away. Right. Um, continue to behave financially as you have been and until this is changed into law because they will note that kind of things. Everything is being tracked right now by the quantum financial system is tracking everything. And I'll explain what quantum, the quantum financial system uh, cannot be hacked. So let me go into what quantum financial system is. First of all, and this, I'll go over this again later, you'll see it's not AI. Quantum financial system is a quantum computer system that records every uh, economic um, and financial transaction, every mint of every coin, every print of every uh, treasury backed note, every type of uh, financial uh, action is recorded by as a, a quantum event in the computer. So when that takes place in space time, wherever it takes place, everything is absolutely unique. And so the recording, the computer records the quantum signature of that event like the meaning of a gold coin, even if one's minted in the mint, right behind it from the same vat of gold and the same print, that is not exactly the same time. The computer records the same exact location, but it's slightly different. It's not actually the same exact location because there's been movement and so through time. And so everything is recorded and it is absolutely unique, like every snowflake is unique. So it records everything and it can't then because, and then it's, done out through the XRP or the Ripple system. So it ripples to hundreds of servers, all that event registered ripples to hundreds of servers all over the world, as well as um, even smaller computer systems. So that's recorded all over the world. You can't hack a system like that. Mm -hmm. So it also abolishes, as I said, the income tax and the IRS will be a collection agency for the flat 14% tax that I spoke of before on non-essential sales items. The re it returns us to true constitutional law under the constitution for these United States, for America, the original constitution, mm -hmm. not the constitution of the United States of America, which is US incorporated, <laughs> okay? 
<laughs> and so uh, the courts uh, will be returned to doing legal matters, and this includes retraining, retraining of judges and lawyers. A judge, when you're going up, you're supposed to be, you go into court, you're supposed to be told what you're being tried in violation of, and that, that what you're being you know, taken to court for is a constitutional violation. If the law that you're being taken is found to be unconstitutional, then that doesn't apply to you, and they haven't been doing that. It's also to restore financial privacy. It installs a new treasury bank system that will be in line with the Constitution. This is uh, part of the reset. Eliminates the Federal Reserve that is a privately held corporation by the elite cabal, and that's 52% uh, of that is the Rothschild family. The other 48% was 24% to the Carnegies and 24% to the Rockefellers that that own the blue chip stock for the Federal Reserve, which is a, a corporation. It's not a reserve, and it's not federal, as in part of the U.S. federal government. Mm -hmm. Nazara would pay out American citizens um, a hundred thousand for eleven years, um, and that will be evaluated now as looking at uh, each person. And there, once they got into the Vatican, they found exactly how much has been taken from every single person and their their father, their mother, all the way back for many, many, many generations, as well as states, cities, countries provinces, governments, et cetera. So this is now, this right here is now being reevaluated. Yeah, because so the, the it, Vatican kept very good, clear records. Okay. Yeah, they, they're they greedy and they they love to gloat the cabal. They kept absolute meticulous records of where all that gold for 1,500 miles came from. So now that will allow for, for very fair reapportionment. So this will change. And then it also increases benefits for senior citizens. It ceases all aggressive military actions worldwide. And that's part of the Abraham Accord. It initiates the first phase of prosperity and distributes vast amounts of wealth. Enormous amounts of money will be released for humanitarian purposes. And that's one of the big things about Masara, and I'll go into that, as well as the release of new technologies and alternative energy, such as the patent, the free energy patent that was used in the TR3B um, that's patented under Salvatore Pais. You can look that up in the US Patent Office. That's the power supply for the TR3B. It develops 1 trillion watts of power from the quantum vacuum. And that is completely free energy. It's a operational free patent, which means it's operational. The blueprints for that mean operational means it's already been made. It's not just the blueprint, it's operational. And free means that there's no royalties having to be paid to Salvatore Peace, the patent holder. 6,000 other patents will be that have been stressed, suppressed from mankind from free energy, anti-gravity, and healing, such as the med beds that I talked about, will all be released. The cures for many diseases have, been, have stemmed from man-made viruses, bacteria, etc., and that will cease to exist once Nasara Jasara is done worldwide. Mm -hmm. So um, disregard that. <laughs> uh, Nasara sanctions. Let's do this. I think I can do this. Can I do that? No, I can't do that. Okay. Nasara sanctions are implemented for eliminating the Fed. Payroll taxes eliminated. Increases benefits to senior citizens. Just to bottom line everything ceases aggressions worldwide, establishes peace throughout the world, releases unprecedented enormous amounts of, of money for humanitarian purposes, cancels credit card mortgage and uh, illegal debts, in other words, illegal usury debts. Now puts the US Treasury on a gold, silver, and platinum rainbow currency, enables the release of 6,000 patents, monitors elections, uh, and um, as well as illegal action, uh, election activities and special interest groups, which will then be eliminated through that monitoring. Uh, initiates the U.S. Treasury banking system in alignment with constitutional law, abolishes the, the IRS. So that's the bottom line of Nasara. So let me explain this. Is it's not going to be just like go home and be wealthy. 
uh, and and watch TV all day and eat popcorn and you know stuff yourself and have a great time and you don't have to work anymore. There's going to be immense amounts of work. Realize that if you release all of these patents that is being talked about here, that free energy. So we're talking no more use of oil. All of this oil systems will have to be capped off. All of the free energy means all of the power systems, the nuclear power plants, the other power plants, the the power, the lines, the local substations, all that's not needed. All that needs to be recycled, taken down, all that metal, cars converted over to internal combustion using anti-gravity. So you, now you don't need highways. You put in green belts, which will cool cities down so they're not immense heat sinks. So you can, all those roads need to be taken up. So you don't need to maintain roads. You can have greenways and grass belts or, you know, in a desert area, you could just have a gravel sandy, you know, bottom so that the thing, it will be like a hover car. There'll even be vehicles for, you know, inter, uh, within the nation that can go up and do higher, you know, and route it. And so all these routing systems to route vehicles that are flying, you'll have flying paths like you saw in Back to the Future, all of those things. So there's a lot of work to retool our entire economy, like what we saw when the internal combustion engine came. And in a very short period, we went from the horse and buggy to the, the automobile. It's the same thing again, but way more vast because you're not just talking about revamping our elect, our entire power grid and get essentially completely getting rid of it where they come to each local house and, you know, a shoebox is the size of this trillion watt generator. So every house could have something, a, bat, a little free energy device the size of the head of a pin that would chart, you know, power your entire house. You wouldn't lose power. And even, you know, little tiny devices like your phone and all that would have free energy. So it completely redoes everything. It also comes out with the new 6G system based on the Xeno effect, like I did on Kirsten's show before when I talked about GoFeFe. Mm -hmm. That then means all the satellites can be taken down. All these communication satellites don't need to be used. All the phones need to be retold. The big pharmacy goes away because now we have a system that's dealing with natural healing and the med beds and all that. So now now you don't need big pharma and all this other stuff. You can see why the global cabal didn't want this because it's massive, but it also requires all of us to go learn new skills, new technologies, new things, uh, you know, like linemen now, instead of going and doing lines, we'll be taking lines down, taking all that metal, massive recycling, all this strip mining and all this stuff won't be needed anymore because you have all massive amounts of material worldwide. That's why Tesla was trying to do this in the first place. He said, you're going to wire the entire planet? And he was going to do this way back in 1903. He had the free energy, had the anti-gravity, they had all of that in 1903. And that was all suppressed. So all of that's coming out. It's you know going to require everybody pitching in, doing a lot of work. And it ceases all aggressive military actions. Um, that's also including military actions within your country, of your country against the populace. And that includes, you know, essentially we've actually had a military state in which our police force, our sheriffs have been participating in things against uh, children. And that's going to stop too, because that is not constitutional. And under the executive order, that carries a death sentence. So all of that's going to be, and that's why they're taking out the dumbs. They're just taking them out because you can't fix what's down there. That needs to be, that needs to be brought up into the light. So that can't be hidden underground anymore. So that, and you don't need all those systems under there. Um, and so you, because you have the ability to travel quickly with anti-gravity all over the world, you don't need maglevs and all this stuff under the earth that makes, you know, the earth more, the, the earth's crust more unstable, all these tunnels and all these dumps and all of this isn't needed. So all of that, I mean, there's so much massive work to do with all this. It's not going to be just go out in the street and rejoice. Yeah, we can rejoice. And, you know, we don't have to work like a dog just to pay the rent and the, the utility bills. Those all go away. But at the same time, it's, we're going to require going back to school and learning all of these new technologies, and our whole history is going to be rewritten. All that's coming out. All of our uh, 
that will be all the hit, the textbooks in school and the way we teach our children, which was all via the cabal. All that's going to be unique to teachers are going to be needed to retrain of how they teach children. So they're not just spitting out facts that are, that are nonsense. They're just not little like digital machines that record information and spit it back out. And that's the test if you, as if you pass and you learn something. You're not learning things, but a bunch of facts and figures that aren't true. So now it's going to be teaching children to have these skills so they can get out and make a better world and for themselves and their children and the whole world. So it's going to be a complete redo of our world. Our world's going to completely change. It's going to take a complete new mindset where children are treated as children and honored and raised correctly and all this abusive situations is going to stop and come to an end and all that needs to be looked at and they need to look at all the cps systems all over the entire country and in every country on earth because that's all part of the problem too and 98 percent of everywhere you go they're participating as well as all the churches. That's deep in many of the churches as well. So it's going to require us all to become very respectful, considerate to each other, and and take responsibility for bringing this all in. So um, that's basically what I had to say. Thank you.